be having two coils with self inductance L1 and L2 are connected in parallel. If the mutual coupling between them is phi, that means M is equal to phi. Since if you note carefully, all the values are negative. So we don't need to always put the value into 10 ratio minus 3. If all the values are negative, if we calculate that, that a particular term, but obviously we'll be getting that value into negative. So instead of writing midi always, so if I just write the numbers, at the end, whichever value you get, write midi over there. That's it. That's a shortcut method you can use it for a faster calculation. You need to find the equivalence resistance. There are two ways. The first case is your cumulative coupling. For cumulative coupling, L equal to the formula is L1 L2 minus M square upon L1 plus L2 minus 2M. So put the values of L1, L2. L1 is your 4, L2 is your 7, minus M is your 5 square, your L1 is your 4 plus L2 is 7, minus 2A into 5. Simplify it, use a calculator, my dear friend, you will get the value as 3. Since everything was in MIDI, so even this will be in MIDI. Yeah, so. Your next will be your differential coupling. The only difference in differential coupling and this that the denominator will be a bigger in differential coupling. When I say bigger, in earlier case in denominator you had minus 2m, so OA will be having plus 2m. That will be the only difference in both the formulas. Everything is same. So your differential coupling will be L1, L2 minus m square upon L1 plus L2 plus 2m. So L1 will be 4, L2 will be 7. What is the value for m I given? This is 5 square whole upon the value is 4 plus 7 plus 2 into 5. Calculate the value for m, you will be getting 0 0.143. Since everything was in milli, my dear friend, it would be milli. That's the value for inductor. In the case of differential coupling, that's it. Under the topic of type 1 category, which we have coupling, let's go for type 2. Signing off. Thank you so much.